So over here you can see that I have uh, some filters applied right here and here are some datas. But right now what is happening is that uh, whenever I go to view and change around the value right here, then all of the charts get affected right here. So let's say what I want is I just want this particular chart to be affected by this slider right here. So in that case, what you can do is you can go around, select out um, the slider and the chart that uh, you want to be affected. And then you can go around and right click and simply group it. So let me just go around and group. And what happens is that now the slider controls this um, um, uh, this chart only. So if I were to go to view right here and change the data, you can see that it only affects the pie chart right here and it does not affect out anything else. Similarly, you can go around and select out multiple things right here. So you can hold shift. Uh, let's say I want to hold shift and select these two charts right here. So you can go around and group it. And now what happens is that this will affect this as well. So if I were to go to view right here, then if I were to use the slider, you can see it affects out the total sales as well as this chart right here. What you can also do to uh, not group things is right click and ungroup it out so that they are not linked together anymore. So you can see that this is what you have. They are individual now. They are not grouped together. So if I were to go to view now and if I were to uh, use the slider, now what happens is that, let me just go around and use the slider. Now it affects all of the data again, as you can see. And that is how you can group data for filtering specific data with interactive filters inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.